I'm so sorry. I thought... I know what you thought. Anticipating Nate, am I right? He's a lucky guy. He's about to get a lot luckier, isn't he? He plays his cards right. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt your rendezvous with your little girlfriend. Um, Nate, my, my earring, I, I think it fell under the couch or something. I, I lost it. I, oh, sweetheart. Hey, let me help I you. thought I told you to whoa, leave her alone. Whoa, whoa. And this is not a rendezvous. Looks like it. You don't know what you're talking about, old man. <laughs> you know, I am no fool. Not like I was the program the minute I walked in here and saw Missy all bed over the DVD play. What? <gasps> you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth up. You should go home. What? No, Nick, I'm not leaving you with you alone with him. I'll be fine. Are you serious? Danny, Danny, trust me. Okay, my mom works at the police commissioner's office. I got her own speed dial. If he tries anything, it'll be over. Uh, good luck with that. But don't worry. I got no beef with Nathaniel. <laughs> I was just coming to catch up with my ex. Oh. Oh, my God. It's okay. Just go home. I'll call you later. You promise me? I promise. Okay. What the hell do you want with my mom? Because Mama Bear knows you were planning on doing it right in there on Mommy's sofa. Although, Inez has probably entertained quite a few of her gentleman friends in here herself. I'm warning you. Oh, no blame. No. That Danny, for a little girl, she's got quite a pair. Oh, ooh, Daddy's boy. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Nate, are you okay? Did he hurt you? Or Inez, look who's bleeding. So, hmm, now what should I do, Inez? Have him arrested? Should I run and cry to the cops like your other pansy ass people? You call the police right now. Been there, done that. Look, would you tell your mother that I got friends in higher places than your boyfriend, Bo Buchanan? But go ahead, sick him on me! <laughs> I'll just walk again. Don't be so sure. Hey, baby. Well, I just came here to do you a favor. You need to tell Buchanan to back off. Okay? This is a warning. And tell your sons to man up and deal with it. I do what I want! When I want. I want you out of my house. Now. <laughs> No worries. I got no interest in staying at this depressing place. Oh, and tell your little girlfriend when she's ready to supersize, she knows where to find me. He's gone. Are you okay? Hey, excuse me. Uh, my name's Todd Manning. I don't think we were properly introduced last time. Now, you enjoy beating up on your kids, is that right? That's right. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't care who the hell you are, what you want or don't want, get out of my way. I mean, you know, my dad was like you. He liked to knock me around from time to time. He's dead now. And you will be too if you ever talk to my kid again. You know, I'm sorry for you. I got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. And if you want to stay out of the wood chipper, you stay away from Danielle. You only oh, came here for the money that I owe you, and there it is. You have to leave. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's not you. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, you know, it's late. We can hash this out in the morning. Yes, sirree, over a big breakfast. Hmm? He's never gonna leave. Okay, okay. It might take more than money to get rid of Eddie, 
But we will get rid of him. Okay? That's a promise. I owe you that. <laughs> <laughs>